this is going to sound like such common sense. If you can keep the dirt outside of your home, you have to clean less inside. Now that sounds just plain stupid, <laughs> but people don't realize most of the dirt that we wind up having to vacuum up, mopping up, is tracked in from outside. It can be how much dirt in a year's time, John Holt? We've calculated that 40 pounds of dirt enters your home on your feet and your pet's feet over the course of a year. That's a wheelbarrow <laughs> full of dirt. It really is. So that's why one of the single most important cleaning tools in your regimen is the best possible mat. And this guy has got the answer. This is John Holt. He represents Don Aslett's cleaning company. Don's cleaning company are in professional industrial cleaners. They're working in retail space, in banks, hospitals, universities. While we sleep at night, it's thousands of people with their little carts, and you're cleaning how many millions of square feet? 400 million square feet at last count. Every night. Yeah, every night. <laughs> What's the very first thing when you get a commercial contract? You've got a bank that you guys are going to be cleaning. Mm -hmm. You've got a university. What's the very first thing that you do before you even grab a scrub brush or a, a cleaning tool? We mat every single entrance to the building. We don't do them with mats that look this good. Right. We do them with commercial looking mats, but we didn't want that for the QVC customer. These are only available here. Only here. Uh, let me show you sizes. We've got our big mat, we've got our, our small, and then we've got the runners. In my big and in the small, I've got this gorgeous brick red. On the videotape, you will see other colors, but they are gone. Right. They sold out. <laughs> I do not have a reorder on this. On the runner, I have a, I, in fact, I don't even know if I have brick red left. I had, a, I think, 10 this morning. But then I also have a, a real pretty brown. I've also got a sage green. Now, what makes this mat different, okay. John? I brought my own mud with me. I, yeah, you it, did. That's a, New York a tray mud. Of mud. And I've got my work boots on. So I'm going to step right here in the mud. If you don't have a proper mat in front of your door, right. this is what's going to happen. All this wet mud, sand, dirt, pine needles, all that comes into your house on your feet. Okay. Now, let's step back in the mud. I'm going to step on the doormat. I'm going to give it a little bit of a wipe. I'm not going to go too crazy here because you don't have to. The whole idea of the microfiber mat is it does the work for you. So you will now step back on a piece of white paper and watch this. All my not way. only is it clean, it's also dry. It's dry. So the if you don't have our did mat, it's job. If you do, <laughs> it's that simple. The mat did its job, and they're gorgeous. Yes. Uh, so this is really the first time that we've been able to incorporate something that's uh, form and beautiful fashion for your home. Now, if you've seen other microfiber, we didn't invent microfiber mats. Right. We perfected them. The way we made these is on a carpet loom, just like a real rug. Most microfiber mats, they glue the yarn to a rubber backing and then it sheds off. This is woven into a, a carpet backing. And then we put a TPR rubber. It's a synthetic rubber that'll never discolor your floor. 100% waterproof, the moisture will never get through this. And look at that low profile, and Any the door is gonna swing over it. It also makes it very slip resistant. Oh, ex yes, okay. it, it, with that dimpled back. I, it's a really effective tool. Uh, you saw two Australian Shepherds coming through the door on the videotape. Right. I've got five of them. Okay. So that's ooh, 20 feet. That's a lot of feet. <laughs> All they have to do is hit the mat. Here, I'm back in the mud again. Here's the wet shoe. I'm going to give it a little bit of a wipe. Now, this mat is really large. It's, it, if it you is. have a sliding glass door, yep. okay, look, just a couple steps I took on there, and there's your white sheet of paper, perfectly clean and, and dry. dry. There you go. That was a little chunk that just came off my shoe, but I got it. Let me show you now, something how, here. How do I clean the mat okay. eventually? After about a month of stepping on this, getting a lot of you know mud, dirt, whatever in it, pick it up, throw it in the washing machine. Perfect. Just don't use fabric softer because it is microfiber. Okay. And it tells you that right on the tag here in case you forget. Your washing instructions is right on the back there. Okay. So let, let me run through the three sizes, John. Yeah. I've got 34 by 52. That's our big one at 34 bucks. The smaller mat is 26 by 38. Yep. That's 24. The runner, which by the way, set the runner so that your kids don't have an opportunity to get over it. You want to have three steps at least. With those three steps, you're clean. That's going to be a 24 by 60, and those are just $30. In the runners, I have the brown and also the sage green. In the other mats, all I have left are brick red. Yeah, and exactly right. With the runner, 
we, we brought this. This wasn't part of our original order with QVC, but you guys wanted them. The customers yep. did. So you, you set it lengthwise inside your mudroom door or your high traffic area. So you have to take a couple steps across it. Okay, the pets, they're going to hit it three or four times. By the time they step off. 95 to 100% of the dirt is off your feet. That's good. Okay, you know how much mud was on my feet before I stepped on this mat? Oh, yeah. Okay, again, if I, if I don't step on the doormat and I just step on the white sheet of paper, here, I'll help you. that's how much comes in. If I step here, and I'll just do it with the one foot this time, I'll take a couple steps across the mat here. If you want, you know, of course, you're gonna do a little wipe, but when I step on the sheet of paper, take a look now. Nothing there. So okay, that's if, how it works. If you want to reduce the amount of housework you do, reduce the amount of dirt that comes into your home. The average family tracks about 40 pounds of dirt through their doors on our shoes or on the paws of our pets. So mat every external door. Now, by the way, that dog, all four feet hit that mat. <laughs> Yes, at least once, sometimes yep. twice. And that's, it's a big, big difference. It's a low profile, so the door goes right over the top. These are machine washable, and they're gorgeous. So whether you use them, by the way, and uh, you will find them to be the perfect mat for right outside of the shower, especially if you have a tile floor. Yeah, which is slippery. Because they, yeah, wet they feet. absorb moisture beautifully. And just before, you saw the refrigerator with the ice maker and the water dispenser? Yep. You know, a lot of it gets on the floor. There it is right outside the shower now, door. Uh, now, again, in that, in the larger sizes, I only have the brick red. Right. In the runners, I've got the brown and the sage green. We're at the end of our season on these mats. That featured price, by the way, that goes away today. This will be the last day to pick up what few are left. And quite frankly, there's a reason why John is on at a few minutes before 7 a.m., I don't have the inventory to put this on during prime time. Let me update you. In the extra large mat, that's the 34 by 52, that's this big guy right here. Mm -hmm. There's 100 remaining in that brick red. Pick that up, get it while you can. By the way, the brick red is a pretty color. I, I do like it, and the other thing, what you can do with the extra large, if you want to put it lengthwise, kind of like the runner, but it's wider than the runner, Okay. it's a unidirectional pattern is what I'm getting at. It looks the same this way as it does this way, we did that intentionally. So can, I, can I throw something out there? Sure. And, and I know that you don't brag about price. Right. But uh, my wife and I, because we do have dogs, we have an industrial mat in our entryway that we just retiled a couple years ago. Mm -hmm. And in, within a month of having that tile redone, my dogs were just tearing it up. <laughs> so we spent the money and we got a really good industrial carpet, like the type that they put into their, their businesses. It wasn't 34 bucks. No. <laughs> that, that their price on this stuff is extremely reasonable. Extremely reasonable. And they are way more attractive. We're going to go off and say hello to Jeanette. Jeanette, good morning to you. Where are you calling from? Where's home, where's home for you? Uh, New Orleans, Louisiana. Nice to have right. you with us. <laughs> so why this idea? Uh, I have a child care center here in Louisiana. And we have a lot of parents, you know, coming in backwards and forth, bringing their kids. So I said, this would be a great idea. We are going to try it and see how it works for us. Okay. Do you like the idea? Again, if you keep the dirt outside, you have less dirt to clean up on the inside. Yes. Yeah. Stop the dirt at the door. If you bought any of Don Asset's 30 cleaning books, it's, it's the number one cleaning secret in every one of our books. Stop the dirt at the door. Makes sense. Yes. <laughs> yes, makes sense. Thanks, Dina. Jeanette. Jeanette, uh, uh, Use it for a while. Take the time to write the review because although this inventory is almost gone, I know that you folks are working on some new stuff that will come down the pike. Right. Uh, we wish you the very best. Thank you for your phone call from New Orleans. <laughs> okay. Thank you all for having me this morning. Be well. Happy cleaning. Bye-bye. <laughs> Happy cleaning. And, Bye -bye. I'll and I'll make a mess here. Again, if, if you just tuned in, this is just wet, sloppy mud in, in a cookie sheet that I put to make a mess with, okay? I'm gonna step on the doormat. Right. Just give it a little bit of a wipe here. I'm, I'm just stepping in the same corner that I have several times. When I come back to the piece of paper, all of that moisture, the mud, it's in the mat, not on your shoe. That's a perfectly clean sheet of paper after I just stepped in mud. Which, which again, this is the concept of what you want an entryway mat to do, but not all of them can. This big one right here, 
is now sold out. Oh. That is now gone. I do have the smaller of the two in brick red. Now, by the way, when I say smaller, this is still considerably larger than the average welcome well, mat. Your, your door is 36 inches only, wide. Yeah, right. This mat is 38 inches wide, and it works the same way. I know we just sold out of the large red, but by, here. By the way, on the one that you're standing on now, John, there's 200 that are remaining. That's it. That's it. It works the same way. So, again, this is 38 inches wide, which is wider than your door. That's why we made them these specific sizes. It's, you go into a store, a mats are like 20 by 30. Right. It's not even the full width of your door. But now, think about it this way. I mean, for those of you who do have housekeepers, 24 bucks doesn't go very far. Right. Right? Uh, $24 will bring you that mat, and that will start immediately cutting down on the amount of work that you have to do in your own home in terms of vacuuming and mopping. And you want to put it on the inside yes. of the door, not the outside. And the whole concept, again, whether it's this one or the runner, is just hit it once or twice, and it not only scrapes dirt off of your shoes, but also takes moisture. It does. Well, that's what microfiber is. If anybody is familiar with our microfiber towels or our microfiber mops, we made it with the same material. Okay. Microfiber yarn, we wove it into a carpet backing it, on a loom, just like a real rug. And then we put the non-slip backing on it. These, when these come off the loom, Dan, these, they're all, the loom makes it perfectly square. Okay. Then we have to hand cut these rounded corners and then stitch on the then binder. And it's called surging, yeah. Right, and this is a dimpled synthetic rubber that will not discolor your floor, super non-slip, 100% waterproof. It'll, if, you know, if you put this on your hardwood floor and you're stepping on this with your snow and sleet, whatever, it'll never seep through to your floor. It contains the moisture in the mat. That's it'll beautiful. dry overnight. Uh, it, it is, again, the most effective cleaning tool out of all the thousands of products that, that Don Aslett has brought to us over the years. Keep the dirt outside your home. You clean a whole heck of a lot less. And then these are washable. You could throw these in a washing machine and about once every month or so, give them a clean. That's it, and yep. they'll, they'll, it'll perk them right back up. And any door easily swings over top of it. Even if your door sweep is rubbing the microfiber, that's fine. the non-slip backing keeps it put. Yeah, I, I like the idea. Yeah. Happy dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Machine washable, beautiful. regular laundry detergent, no fabric softener. And again, that, that works with any type of microfiber. You're gonna see some colors, by the way, that no longer exist, that are gone. In the runners, and the runners are priced very, very affordably. Those are a full 24 inches by 60. They are $30. I've got a few left in that chocolate brown and I've got a few left in the sage green. The big mat that you're seeing right there is gone. It's gone in all colors. I now have about 50 of the smaller of the two, but even though it's smaller than that big guy, it's still considerably bigger than was <laughs> right. welcome mats. Yeah, we call that the large, and this was the extra large. <laughs> so yeah. even our small ones considered the way, large. Most welcome mats are pretty much just welcoming dirt into your home. They they are not cleaning tools at all. This is right. And again, here you did actually bring your own mud from New York. Is there something <laughs> wrong with Pennsylvania mud? I, I don't know. Huh? <laughs> now here's the runner. Again, I'm going to take a white sheet of paper. I'm going to take a few steps across this. Okay, maybe wipe a little bit here. But again, when I step onto this white sheet of paper, nothing there. Dry. Nothing there. And okay? clean. That's how you clean your feet. Stop the dirt at the door. It's good. You'll cut your cleaning in half. Uh, it, <laughs> Why not? Yeah. <laughs> and they're attractive. No offense, when you first did this, John, you and I have known each other now for 25 years. Oh, yeah. Uh, they look like industrial mats. These are the most attractive that I've ever had, you know, an opportunity to bring to people. The price is right. And put them at every entrance. I like it. Exactly. Front door, back door, garage door, maybe your basement door. If you have a walkout, if you have a slider, you could put the runner widthwise as well in front okay. of a slider. So there's more, you know, I put one under my, my, I put one under my pet bowls. Okay. For my boxer that drools a lot. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> That's beautiful. Thank you, my friend. All good right. stuff, good stuff. Hey, Dan. We're out of the big one. The small one is now gone as well. And uh, we've got a few of the runners left. That's it. Okay. John, thank you. All right. I need coffee. Coffee would be good. Yeah. Uh, coming up at 7.05.